Okay, welcome back to the unofficial guide to vMix course. In this video, we're, we're going to be covering the incredibly powerful vMix web controller, which is a controller for vMix that can control vMix from anywhere on your local area network. Let's get into it. So I'm going to open up the vMix web controller very easily by going ahead and going to settings to find the IP address for the web controller. Now, this is something that I use all the time. So here's the web controller here. You can see it is enabled and I have the IP address here. So we can go ahead and go to this IP address and literally control vMix. So that's what we're going to do today. Boom. And we just need to zoom out, Mike. There we go. And now I can control vMix. Now, this is a very simple look at the vMix web controller. And I'm just going to take you through it one step at a time. And then we're going to look at the way that we use it here in our studio with a touch screen that I have here. Uh, I use this to operate the live show by myself all the time. Uh, so, you know, I sometimes I'll do some shortcuts to start recordings and different things. Uh, all of the different previews and outputs. Um, we have the ability to edit uh, all of the different titles and do tally lights. And then I also can you know, change titles here. So we'll look at all of that in my screen capture here. So first of all, uh, how did we get here? So to get to the web controller, we clicked the web controller button. And web controllers can be accessed through the settings menu or you can click on the shortcuts hamburger menu and click web controller there and it'll open right up in Google Chrome. Now, really quickly, just to show you guys some of the things, these are, this is coming back to some of the shortcuts that we created. Let's just see it working here. So, simple cut, right? That's a shortcut. So we can create as many shortcuts as we would like to operate vMix remotely. So let's just add a title, just a random title. Just add that title right there. And we will create a shortcut. This is kind of combining all of the things that we've learned about to overlay that title. So we'll just do shortcut one to function overlay. So basically I hit the find button, right? And I hit find key one. And then I hit overlay function overlay input one and then i'm going to choose the title so that's what i'm wanting to do now this right here is telling me what do i want to call this in the shortcuts menu so i have a little reference point so we'll just call this main title overlay okay and you see it says here show in web controller so we can go ahead and click ok bring our web controller back. I'm just gonna refresh. And now we have our main title overlay. So you can see that we have these titles there that make it easy. When I click it, boom, it shows the overlay on title one. Really great, right? So um, the let's take a look at all of the, so the shortcuts is like my, one of your, my favorite things to do with vMix um, web controller. But let's take a look at some of the other options as well. So basically we have one, two, three, four options on the top. The second option is a full controller for vMix. So the output changes what's in the output and the preview changes what's in the preview. So basically this gives you a fully controllable functional switcher just pared down for size that you can use with your iPhone or your iPad or touchscreen or any computer on your local area network. And instead of full images and descriptions of the inputs, which you can see in the main video production system in, in the vMix software, we use a designation of a number and a letter to represent the inputs. So for example, a camera on input one would be labeled C1. A title on input two would be labeled just two or T2. And then uh, the top row is preview or output and then preview. So see, this is a video 
on this is video one, video two, video three, they have they say V123. So if it was a camera on input four, it would say C4, right? And then if it's a title, for example, it just says the letter number there. Now, so we have output, we have preview, and then we actually have overlay channels. So this is really valuable because if we want to do an overlay channel, we can do that through here. It's literally a fully functional switcher here. And a lot of times I'll use this, for example, if I need to remove a social media title or something like that. I'll just scan through and you'll see that this colored box is there. And I'll say, oh, that's how I get rid of it. Click it there. You can also manage transitions with these buttons down here. It's a fully functional switcher. Pretty cool. Now this here is a tally light system. So what this will do is it will actually, um, you know, show you the ability to, to basically say, hey, turn blue or green when this input, I said blue or green, it's actually, is that, that's green and blue, right? This is green. So this, this web browser will turn green when this input is full screen or is is in the output and so effectively this web browser becomes a tally light so you can turn a cheap android phone or smartphone into a tally light so you can put it right next to a a camera and when it the when the screen turns green the camera's live now if we cut away from this and go back to it that's orange right i'm colorblind that's orange so we know that the camera is not live. It's in preview. And if the camera is not in preview or output, it turns to this color. Is that blue? Yes. So we have blue. All right. So that's tally lights. And so you just select the input that the camera, you know, you want the tally light to work with, which would be a camera, and it starts to work. Now, finally, we have the ability to edit titles here. So we can literally say, you know, vMix master, class 101, hit update, and it just updates the title. Oh, should be 101, hit update, boom. And there's some really interesting case studies in the book that talks about how to use this. For example, a really kind of inspirational case study that is in the book that we share is the Griswold Elementary School, which uses the web controller to give students extra jobs. So one student is just involved with updating the titles and they just do that over Google Chrome. Another student is in, in charge of showing the graphics. So they're a graphics chief in the broadcast club and they have access to the shortcuts that will show up the graphics when they need to be shown. There's a lot of ways to use this. I use it on my live show to on our live show to show different, uh, to basically use it as a switcher. And that's pretty much it. I use it as a switcher and then maybe a couple shortcuts here and there. So that is the vMix web controller. The latest update to vMix 23 also allows you to add passwords and an administration panel to this entire um, setup. Plus, it allows you to restrict what people have access to through the vMix web controller as well. So take a look for that feature if you have updated your vMix to 23 or greater. All right, let's keep going in this class.